back In the falling dark Rolling past cornfields Catfish farms and swamps It was a wonderful night. 
And I was on the edge of my seat desperately wanting to go from being in the audience to swapping songs with that group of legends. I knew I was in deep water, the new kid in town, but oh, how I longed to sit in that circle. I deeply admired everyone in it for years. As the music was winding down, Nancy looked over and asked, Mary, would you play us a song? Mm -hmm. I knew Nancy because I'd opened a string of shows for her a month prior. I was absolutely thrilled when she invited me to play. I sat in the chair she offered, took her guitar into my hands, and played a song I wrote called Our Lady of the Shooting Stars. The other songwriters closed their eyes and nodded as I played. Some smiled. There was no wild applause or pyrotechnics when the song ended, but the smiles and nods made me feel like maybe, maybe, I belong. I still had a long way to go, but joining that circle was validation that moving to Nashville had been a good decision for me. Holding my own in that circle of songwriters whose records I owned and whose careers I followed gave me confidence. Being around songwriters I deeply admired humanized them and it made the star I was reaching for feel less distant. When I was done, I handed Nancy her guitar back. She shook her head, no, and said, keep it. I froze, holding her engraved signature Sunburst Taylor 612 cutaway guitar in midair with question marks in both of my eyes. <laughs> it's yours, oh. she said. When I moved to Nashville, Harlan Howard gave me his guitar. Now I'm going to give you mine. I was speechless, but somehow found the courage to say, Would you sign it? <laughs> and she did. She signed it with a sharpie for Mary, because you will sing. I later found out it's a Nashville tradition to pass on a guitar. It's an attempt to stay on the good side of the news and the mystery. Some songwriters believe it is one way to keep songs full. Harlan Howard gave Nancy one of his guitars because he felt there was no more songs left in it for him, but maybe there were some in there for her. Nancy had just done the same thing for me. Welcome to Nashville, kid. Remember to stay on the good side of mystery and paradox. They will be your wheelhouse. And I, uh, I picked up her guitar and played it when I got word that she passed her assistant uh, email. Thing, you know, that, uh, that she, she had crossed over and I picked that one and picked that guitar up uh, and uh, uh, held it. She told me a story about it when um, she uh, gave it to me that didn't make the book because it really wasn't all that relevant, but she said, um, yeah, I played this guitar on the Today Show with Brian Gumble, <laughs> and the fireplace during the interview popped. And a bunch of members landed on the guitar, so sorry about the burn. <laughs> Oh, my God. What a life. I feel like Forrest Gump. <laughs> 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 